What if you had a friend who died without knowing Jesus as your personal Savior? What if he or she went to hell? What if one day you receive a letter in the mail from beyond? A letter from hell. A letter from your friend in the flames of eternal torment. The following is a dramatic presentation that was written by a fictitious high school student named Daisy to a friend named Joy. Although Joy had every opportunity to tell Daisy about Jesus, she didn't. They were best friends. They played soccer together. They partied together. They shared their lives with each other. But there is one thing Joy held back from Daisy. Her personal relationship with Jesus Christ. The rest of the story is simple and sad. A few too many tears. A tragic drive home. A crash. A death, a funeral, a letter. Here is that letter in its entire day. A letter from hell. Joy and Daisy are best friends. Rachel and Mirna are their casual friends. Joy is a Christian while Daisy belongs to a rich family. Daisy's parents own the business company and her parents are so busy doing their business that they neglect their responsibility to Daisy as their daughter. Hi, Joy! Hi! How are you? Is your parents will come on Saturday? We have a parents meeting, right? <sighs> No, you know my dad always says sorry. Daisy, we're too busy. I hope you will understand. I don't know why my parents have no time for us. God, it's so unfair. You know why? I've seen families so happy. Parents giving time to their children. I have everything, Joy. Money, fame, but there's something that I don't even have. Oh, oh, come on, Daisy. You're acting like a five years old. <laughs> Hi, Daisy. Hi, Daisy. Hi, John. <laughs> we have a party tonight in my house. Would you like to come? Yes, yeah, sure. John, you can come with us too. Yes, John, you should come with us. I want to, but no thanks. Maybe some other time. Are you sure?
Joyce at her home, she sat down on the couch and started thinking about Daisy. She knew Daisy needed a savior, but she did nothing. Then she received a phone call from Rachel. Would be good time 
to hell forever. And this time that I get home is some kind of holy sand. So I can sit in and take long for time. Do you even know who we're thinking about? I've been thinking about you. Joy, you are a Christian. You told me to yourself. And we talk about three different times today. But just when you change the subject. I mean, it came up right before the wreck. But question came out of my mind is this joy. Why haven't you ever told me about how to become a Christian? And then you say you are my friend. But if you really were, you have told me about this Jesus. And told me how I escaped this terrible place that I had it for. I can feel my heart grumpy in my chest. The angel who had been chosen to cast me in hell are coming down the hallway. I can hear their footsteps. I have heard of this hell joy. They call it the lake of fire. I can stand in joy. I am terrified. The angel at the door. Wish you were here. Wish you were here. Wish you were here. 